Keith Hammonds. I have uh, no music, no poetry, no sandwiches. Uh, I'm going to talk about our quest for the perfect metric. Uh, we are a young organization, <clears throat> and at that moment of vulnerability, insecurity, where we are trying to measure a lot of stuff, this is the stuff we are trying to measure, everything from operational effectiveness to uh, the effectiveness of our engagement with our newsroom partners to uh, what they do after our engagement to how readers react to what they do, blah, 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 on and on down the rabbit hole. I've become very popular with our staff. Uh, <clears throat> every time I mention the word metrics, they you know, cheer and jump up with excitement. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a happy moment for us all. Um, so why do we do this? Well, <clears throat> we do this in part because <clears throat> Yeah, obviously this creates value for um, for our constituents, for our newsroom partners. Uh, we learn from from the feedback we get from from these metrics. Uh, we are trying to to improve everything we do, uh, and this is important for for the news business. And yes, this too. To be fair. Um, our funders, especially Melanie Cano at, at Gates, have been incredibly important in helping us frame metrics as a way to, to firm, firm strategy. But this is our magic question. Does solutions journalism, what we are trying to build, the frame change we're trying to do, actually do something for, uh, <coughs> for engagement? We know from research that negative news Drives, drives readers away. What does positive news do? So to, to start, we had to, to, had to describe what is solution journalism in the first place. We came up with the 10 noble questions. There are actually nine here, so you won't be tested on the 10th. Um, and Brian Abelson, who I think is here, uh, Knight Mozilla fellow, developed this cool app to help us code stories for solutioniness. Uh, and we will pay for a better word than solutioniness. Um, so our pilot project with the Seattle Times uh, allowed us to, to code stories. Uh, Sonia Song, another uh, Night, Night Mozilla uh, fellow, came up with this incredible analysis. One, one finding was David Bornstein, the co-founder, and I had an 80% 80, 80 correlation uh, for what solutioniness meant, which meant that we have to start taking separate vacations. Um, <coughs> uh, forgot what my next slide is going to be. Let's wait for a second here. Um, <coughs> So the, uh, we, we are testing this now. In fact, my, I have my phone because Dana Chen at USC may call it any minute with the findings. But we have some anecdotal evidence that says, yes, solution stories drive traffic. But we can't tell from one solution story to the next solution in us which is, which is more important. There is too much noise. Likewise, we're working with Lindsey Green Barber to use fly her impact tracker to record anecdotal evidence of impact from stories. How many people email? What they say in the email? Is there policy change? Is there discussion? This is the sort of data we're getting. And again, incredibly useful, incredibly important to journalists, but hard to get a handle again on this core question of does it make a difference when you put solutions content into a story? So. Real life is hard. We decided to pull back and get away from real life and do sort of a laboratory experiment, uh, which meant comparing uh, a solution, uh, sorry, a, two versions of the same story, three stories uh, on, on clothing in India, uh, homelessness, violence in education, one rooted in the problem, the other the same problem content but adding in solutions content. We sent the story to random versions of the story to 755 respondents, and this is what they said. Significantly higher reactions to the question, have you gained new knowledge? Uh, are you better informed? Are you more interested in this, in this story? Also, higher engagement uh, reactions. Uh, yes, more likely to share the article with friends, more likely to talk about it with friends, friends and family, more likely to read more, more stories in the paper or magazine. And in fact, uh, higher engagement with the issue in, in society that says I'm more likely to get involved uh, with, with an organization uh, involved in this issue, more like, likely to donate, uh, and more likely to, to engage in the issue. So uh, there was much cheering when these came out. Suddenly, our staff is, is, is incredibly excited about metrics and, and is begging me to participate in these projects, literally. Um, and that's it. Our finding uh, for now is that there, there does seem to be some correlation between solutions content and engagement. And there's where we go from here. Thank you. Thank you.